In this video, I'm going to walk you through our scenarios tool, including setting your scenarios up, adding a contribution or withdrawal scenario, and adding a future date scenario. To get started, I am on a blank scenario page here, and I'm going to go ahead and add my security. So I'm going to use a model portfolio here. And once I have that added, I'm just going to keep it comparing to the benchmark. And then I'm going to look back at a 20 year period. So I'm going to choose my date here. And then for the initial investment, I'm going to just add $100,000. So once this information has been filled out, I'm able to go in and actually add a scenario. So the first scenario I am going to set up, I'm going to give it a name, and then this will be a contribution. And then for data type, this is going to be a value, and I'm going to choose 500. The frequency will be monthly. I can go ahead and click this rate of change to factor in inflation. So I'm going to do just that, and this will be a percentage, 3%, and we're going to say that is annually. One thing I also want to highlight is it will automatically load the start and end date from the security up here, but you are able to go in and adjust those as well. Once I've finished, I'm going to click Add and then Calculate. Once this has finished calculating, I'm actually able to see that my benchmark of the S&P 500 has outperformed the model portfolio that I had inputted. And then I also can view the total net contributions that I've made toward this portfolio. If I scroll down, I'm able to see this information in a bar chart that I can view on a monthly, quarterly, or an annual basis, as well as a table of all of the contributions that I've made throughout the years, as well as what the total return would be with and without the contributions made. If I'd like to build out a scenario that is showing possible future returns, Pretty simple to do here. All I want is to switch the end date up within the security box. And I'm going to switch this to 2028. And as you can see, it automatically switches to expected return. And then if I even scroll down, I can see that it has automatically adjusted the end date for my contribution scenario as well. Once this has calculated, I'm able to see the same modules as I did before. This first chart here will actually show the expected returns for those future dates as well, which is helpful. I'm also able to add multiple scenarios to our tool. So for instance, if I wanted to build out a scenario where I'm making monthly contributions, up until June 30th of 2023, and then I'm making withdrawals from 2023 through 2028. All I need to do is make a few edits here. So the first thing I'll do is click the edit button for the contributions, and I'm going to want to change the end date. So I'm going to want to switch this to 2023, since that is when I stopped those contributions. I'm then going to add another scenario here, and I'm just going to give this a name, and then going to be withdrawing, and then type is going to be a value, and then it's going to draw $5,000 every month. And what I'm going to do here is just switch the start date to reflect 2023. Once I've added in that start date, I'm going to click add. 
And then I want to make sure I click calculate down here so the data on this portion of the page is accurate. So as you can see here, I have created two scenarios, including a contribution and withdraw scenario. And I'm able to see the expected return rates as well as the contributions over that time period. I'm going to pull one last scenario. And in this scenario, I'm actually, instead of comparing it to the benchmark, I'm going to compare it to another model portfolio here. So I'm going to click other security and then I can enter in the ticker symbol or the name of that security. Once I've added that, I've kept the contribution the same as the previous scenarios. So I'm going to click calculate here and then I'm able to compare the two securities and see which security is outperforming the other. In this case, the 80-20 benchmark is far outperforming the 2080 benchmark. Once this has been calculated and I would like to either show this to colleagues or show this to a client, what I can do is actually click export here. And then in the dropdown, I can download it as a PDF. So that will just take a second to load. I can give it a title. Once I've downloaded the PDF and opened, you're able to see that you can view a lot of the modules that you saw on the actual scenario builder screen. So it's going to have those charts, contribution info, as well as the contributions table for each time period. If you have any questions about our scenario builder tool, please reach out to your designated account manager.